it's noble asante um brother raymond is about to give us something nice today on what must be done for the holy spirit to be moved in the church what must be done for the holy spirit to be moved in the church if you are new here i urge you to subscribe just subscribe all right this is raymond your friend once again i'm here to educate on what must be done for the holy spirit to move in the church what must be done for the holy spirit to move in the church yes i have some qualities to share with you all right i have some point to share with you as to what must be done for the holy spirit to move in the church if you are new on this channel remember to subscribe remember to subscribe all right i'll take it one by one point number one here is law abiding law abiding it is very important for us to abide by the laws by the rules and the regulations in this world it is very important for you to abide by the rules and regulations in your workplace or at your workplace it is very important for you to abide by the rules and regulations at your home yes if you abide by the rules and regulations that govern your home why would you abide by the rules and regulations in the church so it is very important for us as a believers or as christians to abide by the law it is very much important the bible let us know that the ten commandment teaches us as to how to abide by the rules and regulations or the laws it is very important that when we come to the church almost everything that you need to do you need to abide by the laws if you don't abide by how the laws goes in the church it will be very very difficult for the holy spirit to move in the church so it is very important for us as believers to abide by the laws of the law it is very important the laws of god the laws of god it is very important point number two here is holiness holiness is very much important when it comes to believers when you claim and you call yourself a christian it is very important for you to live in holy life
the church as a whole and the Holy Spirit will move. Okay, so point number three here is agape love. Alright, so that is point number four. It is very important. Sorry, point number three. Point number four here is obedience. Obedience, they say, is better than sacrifice. It is very important for you as a member of the church to obey each and every body. Be it you a lawyer, be it you a doctor, whosoever you claim you are, it is very important for you to respect. If you don't respect or obey anyone, you realize that the Holy Spirit will be struggling to move in the Sometimes people don't even rededicate their life to God. Try to rededicate your life to God. Try to give your life solely to God. When you repent, the Bible says, when you confess with the heart mumbling unto righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So when you confess your sins before God, He's just and faithful to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So it is very prudent for you as a believer or as a church member to rededicate your life to God. When you repent your sins, God will be able to move. And the move of the Holy Spirit in the church will be greater. It is very important. So, repentance is very important. Alright, these are some of the points I have to share with you today. Point number one here, I said, is law abiding. Point number two, I said, is holiness. Point number three, I said is agape love. Point number four, I said is obedience. And the final point I said is repentance. This is the point I have to share with you. Alright? And I strongly believe that this will help you try to share this and let someone also learn from this. God bless you and God bless you all for watching. Remember to subscribe. Alright? Remember to subscribe. What must be done for the Holy Spirit to move in the church? Remember to subscribe. I love this message. Brother Raymond, God richly bless you and increase your anointing. Remember to subscribe. Thank you.